Hey, what's going on, my friend? This is Kurt Tashi, and in this Traffic Wave tutorial, we're going to learn how to import our leads into Traffic Wave. Now, there's many reasons why you wouldn't do this. Maybe you have a, an autoresponder that you're no longer using, and you want to import your leads into Traffic Wave, or maybe you're using a marketing system that collects leads for you, but there's no real way to email the leads from there, so you want to import them into Traffic Wave. Well, this is going to show you exactly how to do that. So, first of all, once you log into your Traffic Wave account, you want to go ahead and click on the Campaign Manager. And then what we want to do is we want to select the campaign that we want to import the leads into. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. And then once that, once we're into the, in the campaign, we want to go ahead and hover over the subscribers tab, and you want to click on import subscribers. Next, you want to be sure to read everything on this page before you do anything else. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you now. This is import subscribers. Please read the following before continuing. Using TrafficWave.net to send unsolicited commercial email, UCE or spam, is strictly prohibited. Entering email addresses into this autoresponder system that have not specifically requested your information can result in degradation of service, complaints or accusations of UCE against you. In accordance with our policies, we will close your account immediately for violations of misuse of our service and services. Now, next. Make sure you understand this here. Many email safe lists, and by the way, this is not talking about safe lists where you send the emails to, like a credit-based safe list, where you send emails to other to other members in the, in the safe list of the system. That's not what this is. When they say safe list, they're talking about email lists that you buy from a broker or from a, from a website or a company. So anyway, many email safe lists contain addresses that are specifically designed to trap spam violators. Please do not risk your account by importing a purchase safe list. Basically, what that means is that there are certain email addresses that these companies put in their in their email in their list of emails, and what they do is um, you buy these email lists of emails, and they're not supposed they're not meant to be imported into an autoresponder. They're meant to be you know used on your own. For some, however, you can figure out how to email them. They're meant to be used separately from autoresponder. And it's actually not good to I did use them anyway because there's they haven't asked for your they have not subscribed to you, they're not asked for your information, they do have no idea who you are. So really buying email lists, emails like this is really it's kind of stupid. It's you're risking your business and risking your 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 account. Um, do not purchase lists and import them into traffic or attempt to import them. You will get your account shut down. Once you understand all this, click on click here to continue. Now, personally, I would never import my leads into on, into the autoresponder, into Traffic Wave. I would never use an import. Um, that is because you never know if these people are going to remember that they subscribe to you. Um, also, Traffic Wave will let, usually does not approve every single email that you import. Okay, and if they do, it takes forever to get takes like forever to, to approve them. Sometimes it'll take up to a week for them to approve your list of email addresses, and even then. If one complaint comes up, you risk losing your account. So, once you're absolutely sure that you want to import your leads, okay, and again, like I said, you're risking your account by even importing leads because there could something could go wrong. If someone sends a spam complaint to Traffic Wave and they see that the, the, the and they see that this person actually subscribed to you through their Traffic Wave system, well, then you're fine. If Traffic Wave gets a complaint, a spam complaint from an email address that you imported, then you will for sure lose your account. However, if you still want to import the leads, there's a few ways you can do it. Number one, you can enter their name and email address here and submit them one at a time. Or you can come here and import, you can copy and paste from a tab delimited or a CSV file. And the way you would do that is that you would go ahead and download your your leads from your system or your other autoresponder in CSV format. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a list here. This is actually a list of junk leads um, that I got from. Uh, well, I, I used to get leads from a, uh, one of those free services, but I, I stopped using them. But I still have the account, so I, every once in a while, if I want to test out some stuff, I'll log in and, and use these as kind of dummy emails to test things out. Uh, but I'll never actually email these leads. Anyway, what you want to do? Is I'm going, to, I'm going to go and reopen this. 
discard these, these saves. Okay, I'm going to open this up. And you want to make sure it's either tab or comma separated. Okay. Um, and then click OK. And then what you want to do is, what I did was earlier, this list had other, other data like city, phone number, state, zip code. I removed all of that. And then what I did was I created, and I won't let me do this now because I've already done it. I created a whole column full of just commas right here in, C, in the C comma, in the C column. And all you do to do that is you would simply type in a comma at the very top cell and then copy that. And then what you would do is go ahead and highlight all the other cells and then right click and paste. Now, if I do this now, it won't let me because it's all, the commas are actually in there already. You just can't see them. But you'll see them once I open them up in a notepad file. So anyway, you have your names, your email addresses, and a comma, a column full of commas. Right here, this between the two A and B comma, between A and B columns, there's actually if you open up the notepad, this will this will actually show a comma in between these. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And then we're gonna go ahead and right click on it and open it up with notepad. Now as you can see, it's name, comma, email address, and then comma. Now what's going to happen is it's going to use this comma to separate separate all these fields. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to go ahead and control A to select all of them. And see, so it actually had actually had extra commas. Looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of going just get rid of those real quick. I should go and do it like this instead. I'm just going to copy a few of these email addresses. So you can actually copy and paste the entire list or simply a handful of emails. I'm going to copy them, go ahead and paste them in. Okay. So this is basically what you want to do. You want to have the name, comma, email address, and then that comma at the end. And name, comma, email, comma, all the way through. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on submit, and it's going to submit the, the leads into. Um, we're going to submit the leads to Traffic Wave to approve. Now, I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go and delete all these because I don't want to import these leads. I'm going to go ahead and simply enter in one of my email addresses. I'm going to put my name here. And then I'll put another one of my email addresses here. And then to go ahead and click on submit. Okay, and then it's gonna it's gonna ask you to make sure everything's correct. So it says this uploaded file was found to have two rows, two columns. If this is not correct or the column definitions below do not appear to be separated, the file did not upload properly. So please refer to the training articles for troubleshooting tips. So your campaign collects the so basically you make sure that it's actually that the uh, files that you're pasting from includes the fields that your campaign collects. So this for example this this campaign that I'm using collects email address and then a single field for name. Okay. And you would come down here where it says define your fields. And column one, you want to go ahead and choose, and you're gonna choose, I'm gonna choose full name for this. And then under column two, I'm gonna go ahead and choose email address. So basically you can actually take an entire um, if you have a, a, a CSV file that has all sorts of data in it, you can simply import the whole thing and then just select you know which fields you want. Okay. And you want to click on submit. It's scanning for errors. It's gonna see if anything's everything's good. And then it says Import subscribers, your subscriber import list has been uploaded for processing. Every new qualifying address will be sent a confirmation email. 
So basically, if you're importing your leads from your other system or your other autoresponder, they are still going to receive a confirmation email to make sure that they actually want to be on this list. So my suggestion, I mean, I see is once confirmed, they'll be added to your campaign subscriber list to begin receiving this, this email series or this letter series. So once they are confirmed, they'll begin receiving your follow-ups. Um, but like I was saying, since they have to receive a confirmation email anyway, okay, um, because you cannot do single opt-in um, on traffic with everything has to be double opt-in. Since, since they have to receive the confirmation email anyway and actually confirm, it actually makes more sense instead of using the import to simply send any send them an email with, you know, to an opt-in. Well, send them an email telling them that you're changing your autoresponders, and then send them an, an email with a link to an opt-in form to actually physically opt into this list. Okay, you may not get all the leads, but you'll end up getting most of them, and you won't have to, you won't risk any spam complaints or violations of traffic ways terms of service. So. And once it's complete, they're going to send the results to your email address. Okay. And then I believe you can actually go and check. See if there's a way to check this again. See if they're uh, going to manage my manage subscribers. So you go back in that specific campaign. We're going to click on Manage Subscribers, and I think we have to go back into the import. We go back to import. So I think there's a way to actually um, cancel out, or there used to be a way to cancel out the leads. Okay. Well, we set the wait for a uh, for the confirmation from Traffic Wave. So that's pretty much it. You simply, you know, just follow the instructions for importing your leads, and then you just have to wait until it's approved. Now, again, in from, from my perspective, in my opinion, since you have to wait for the leads to import to be to be approved, and since the since these subscribers have to click a confirmation link in another email anyway, it's almost like they're resubscribing anyhow. So you might as well instead of importing, which can risk, you know, you can risk spam complaints. Instead of import importing leads, you might as well just have them you know, send them an email with a link to an opt-in form to get on this new campaign in, in Traffic Wave. So, guys, this is Kurt Tashi. Thanks for watching this Traffic Wave tutorial on how to import your leads into Traffic Wave. With that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Talk to you soon.